Hello everyone and welcome to this special sneak peek of the upcoming 65th episode of the Exploring Antinatalism podcast, in which I interview a true veteran of the antinatal world, someone who until recently had no idea that they were in fact an antinatalist, and someone who most of the antinatalist community is still tragically and vastly unaware of. He is of course none other than the original author of the risk argument for antinatalism, Mati Hairi professor of philosophy at Aalto University in Helsinki, Finland. I asked Mati, when was the first time you heard the word antinatalism? I had clean forgotten extinction and all that when in 2016 I was preparing a presentation on post-humanism at my university. A quick Google search revealed a wiki quotes page on antinatalism that not only informed me of the dawn of the concept ten years after the fact, but also, lo and behold, that I was a famous antinatalist myself. In 2004, Monty first released his now classic article, A Rational Cure for Pre-Reproductive Stress Syndrome. But already in 1984, 20 years earlier, he had written in the conclusion of his master's thesis. Mikäli esittämiini perusteluihin on uskomista, abortti on moraalisesti sallittu ja se on sallittava aina, kun nainen valitsee sen tietoisena seurauksista sikiölle, ympäristölle ja itselleen. Kukaan muu ei voi tehdä päätöstä hänen puolestaan. Which many of you, including me, don't understand because he said it in Finnish. But don't worry, the podcast is in English and this is what he said. If the arguments I have put forward are to be believed, abortion is morally permissible and must be allowed whenever a woman chooses it. Knowing the consequences for the fetus, the environment and herself, no one else can make that decision for her. This, he now says, was the first step in a long journey to antinatalism, proving philosophically that women have no duty to bring their pregnancies to term against their own will. The risk argument we find out in the episode was preceded by a decade of what Mati calls his first complete foundation of the antinatalist position in his 1994 book, Liberal Utilitarianism and Applied Ethics. I go with my own back then doctrine of liberal utilitarianism, my theory of value was based on need satisfaction. Before a new individual emerges, there's no one there, which means that there's no need to come into existence. There's no one to have that need. From this I know that there's no obligation to have children for their own sakes. But if they are born, they will have a need to avoid pain. If you only ever watch one episode of the Exploring Antinatalism podcast, please make sure that it's this one. The Exploring Antinatalism podcast, episode 65, featuring Mati Hairi, will premiere on Thursday, September 1st, at 2 p.m. CDT, that's 7 p.m. GMT. Make sure to click the bell below to be notified of the start of the premiere. Your feedback, questions, and response videos are highly encouraged. A full transcript of the episode will be available after the premiere. If you'd like to learn more about Mati's work now, please go check out all the links in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and hope to see you at the premiere. All the best, and bye for now.